Well, I hope everybody had a marvellous March. This is my piece now with all my knots added. So we've got the pistol stitch, French button, not French buttons, French knots, bullion stitch and colonial knots. So it's beginning to grow quite a lot. I think it's been quite a good idea to go back and work into it. Got a little bit obsessed with Suffolk puffs, so I keep adding them. So remember, you can go back, keep working back into areas, revisiting, adding new sections. But I've really, really enjoyed the Suffolk puffs, especially the stitching around them, creating the patterns. Loved decorating little bits of lace. So adding tiny knots just to the middle of sections and adding little bits of decoration in there. So now we're getting ready to move on to April and I'll give you a bit of an introduction about what we're going to be doing this month. So on to April's challenge. You can sort of see um, I have a slight obsession with linen buttons. This is just a small sample of my selection. So April is going to be all about adding buttons. They don't have to be linen ones. Any type of button could be to match your colourway or anything like that but what I'm also going to have it do is have a little bit of a giveaway over on my Facebook page of some linen buttons if anybody wants to have a go at winning them to add to their project for this year okay here we go so Mad March totally out of the way and we've been looking at different types of knots. So French knots, pistol stitch, lots and lots of tiny, tiny, tiny French knots. Really like building up the texture with that. Adding different bits on. So some of my Suffolk puffs that I'd added in, I've not put little bits of fabric in, or some of them I have. And then I've put some tiny, tiny French stitch, uh, French knots in there, some pistol stitches going on the outside. The bullion knots I think have been really, really lovely. I do love a bullion knot. Look like little caterpillars. Very, very cute. So I thought I'd just give you a whistle stop tour of my piece. I've tried not to add any more fabric because it's getting quite big now. And I know that I need to add some more since though we're only three months in. This is getting quite big. And I've started putting together the additions for April. So you'll notice that I've started adding buttons. I have a lovely button tin. I know most people that I speak to when I'm talking about textiles and things that they have in their stash. A lot of people have got their mums or grandmas or they've inherited a button tin. So the idea with this month is that you're going to start adding buttons. The majority of the ones that I've added to mine so far have been linen buttons, linen covered buttons that I buy um, usually off eBay or at vintage fairs. Or if you're lucky enough to find them in somebody's tin. Um, these ones are particularly nice because they're sort of covered but there's no buttonhole. So I've popped some French knots in there just to add those on. And the additions then are the buttons this month. Keep working back into the fabric that you've done unless you do want to add some more pieces. Put your buttons on in different ways so you don't always have to go through the eyes of the buttons. So with those ones there, I've sort of done a little bit of a blanket stitch around the edge. Popped a few more just at the top, near where it joins my bobbin. And I'm going to add a few more bits on there for April, but just carrying on stitching. But I am beginning to realise that I haven't really got that much room left. So I do know that I am going to have to start adding a little bit more fabric to this piece just to keep it going. As you can see it's getting a little bit longer that's not the end either it does carry on just fold that bit in but i have to say i'm absolutely loving doing this so much so it does become a distraction from all the other stuff that i am meant to be doing which mainly is for the british craft and trade fair hopefully if things don't carry on the way that they're going in the news at the moment it will still go ahead at the beginning of april in harrogate there is a public day on the Saturday if anybody would like to come and you can get tickets online. If you just search the uh, British Craft and Trade Fair for Harriet, you'll get links to that. 
So that's April. Buttons added. And I will see you next month. Keep up to date on Instagram and Facebook. And please tag me in. Hashtag so for the number four. So for the soul handmade on Instagram. Or send me your pictures on Facebook. And I'd like to try and build up a little bit of a community so that everybody can see what everybody else has been doing. Okay, happy stitching everybody. Bye.